So, you play as JC Denton and Price in this game. Sure. A bomb! You don't even have sunglasses. Well, that's because he looks like Price, but he talks like JC. John, come in. Go ahead, huh? I found a hangar. A lot of activity here. Afraid they're gonna fly Queen B out soon. Oh, tight. Out. Now he's got his gun in his other hand. Why can't the Queen Bee fly out on its own? Because it's not an actual Queen Bee. I don't believe you. Time for the world to look puke green. See, now he's got goggles, so his vision's awkward. Yeah, I don't like using them very much. Did, did, did they just blow up a church? Yep. Classic. I remember this game was controversial. We're terrorists in a world churches, our own churches. So this section coming up is just a showcase of the great if the game's brilliant AI. You mean the the lack of AI? How much sniper rifle ammo do you have? A lot, because it shares ammo with the submachine gun. Ah, oh, so that's why. You had so like how come 300 rounds of sniper ammo? <laughs> yeah, how come? But do, do they do different weapon damage though? Yeah, the submachine gun doesn't do as much damage, but it's very effective when you keep firing. It's a slow grenade. Look, it's retarded how he reloads that gun. It looks so awkward. I think it's retarded how they throw grenades. That's the case for every gun. <laughs> Tox. I'm gonna reload my Desert Eagle by putting it in my other hand! I mean, even in Rogue Warrior, the, the reload animations were dumb and slow, but they look badass. Throw this magazine the fuck away. <laughs> it takes forever to do it. I guess Rogue Warrior is kind of like the spiritual successor to this game, maybe? I didn't think Rogue Warrior was as fun. Just run around kill move everyone. Well, the be you know, the best and probably only good part about Rogue Warrior is make it work. <laughs> it was pretty decent. For, I mean, it's long enough so you don't get entirely sick of it, maybe? That's because it's like two hours long. Yeah. The only reason I bought that game was the one liars. The only problem with it is if you bought it for 60 bucks when it came out. <laughs> 60 bucks for homophobic ranting from Mickey Rourke? How could I lose? I'm there. <laughs> two hours of gameplay. That's, a, that's not hardest probably. It's like an hour and ten minutes on normal. So you're gonna get ambushed at this part, but it's really easy because the AI can't aim for shit. What are those boxes? Getting blown up. What was that? Oh, that's a tank? That's a huge tank gun, by the way. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually supposed to be a war going on, and you're like the third party in the war. Oh, so that was because they, they mentioned something about you and peace, uh, peacekeepers leaving, and then some rebels were doing something, I think? Yeah. It was like two videos ago. Yeah, I'm going to be posting a briefing in the thread. And that would require me to read the thread. Did you even read the Stranglehold one at all? Yeah, I did. Well, I'd rather not, like, have the video paused for, like, a minute Well, while, yeah, that makes you know, sense. So you can read the briefing. We could just... They could pause it themselves. Have it show up and, you know, if you want to read it, you can pause the video. Well, it did show up. It was just two videos ago. Oh, now he switched his hands again. Yeah, that's like a weird animation thing 
specifically for this gun, where if you lean left, he'll switch the gun hand. At least the animation for reloading is less stupid. So we're going after a gun first, right? Yeah, we have to blow up an artillery gun before we can go blow up the nuke. Blowing up nukes. Still seem like a bad idea. Hey, it worked the first time. I guess. That is still one of the most awkward jumping puzzles in the game. It's not even a puzzle, it's just awkward jumping. It's crazy how what? It's crazy how much armor absorbs damage. Yeah, but good thing most of the guns that you have are armor piercing. Only the starting Glock and the shotgun are the non-armor piercing guns we've seen so far. You didn't save at all? No. That's the gimmick, no save run. You're a loose cannon, Merc. There's been no need to save yet. The hangar's heavily fortified. I have a diversion ready for when you get inside. Looks like I'll need it. Well, you've been taking basically no damage so far. Sniper R. I prefer Sniper S. Oh? Well, I prefer Sniper Z. For Zul'jin Raynor? <laughs> no, for snipers with a Z. Because Zs make everything look cooler. It's why it's in my name. <laughs> oh, his head did explode. Bonk. Come on, that's not fair. In that cutscene. That cutscene lied yeah, to us. that guy's head was just like, blonk. Uh, how are the hitbox sizes for... They use hitbox in Quake 2, right? Yeah, but this game has, like, specific, specifically new hitbox technology. Like, on the back of the box and in the advertising, it's like, there's 26 hit, hit zones okay. for different parts of the body. And are they, like, pretty big? Or... Because, you know, like, in Bulletstorm, some of those trick shots that involve... You know, the nether regions are rather hard to get. I think. Always, always hit the thighs. Look at that guy. What's up? What's he doing? Yeah, once you disarm. Well, maybe, him, maybe, he's supposed maybe to be like he him. thought you were a T Rex. <laughs> with guns. He's supposed to do the cowering animation, but that always happens when I'm recording this game, so maybe it's fast making the game fuck up. Didn't we slightly mention that? And Last stranglehold video. <laughs> that was Glam. Glamo. John, find the security station and unlock the helipad door. Go. So yeah, those nether region hitboxes, how big are they in this game? I think all the body parts are sort of smallish, but there's a lot of different spots to hit. So, in terms of hit so it's not that hard compared to you know, like I said earlier in Bullet Storm, where you end up STBZ set hitting them in the thighs. Did you just say their nether regions were hard? <laughs> <laughs> a different kind of LP. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, we're trying to keep it classy here. Violence only. Ed swearing. Hmm. Say no to sex. Ooh, what was that chain reaction there? Grenades. He just got up. He was like in pain and he got up. A brief, brief mention about the uh, 
different party parts. I remember remember a preview in like PC Gamer about the sequel, and they had like instead of twenty different sounds, they had like two hundred. Oh. Oh yeah, the sequel is like crazy gory, even though it's only like Quake Three engine. Yeah, so like instead of shooting up an arm, you could shoot up a finger, like a hand or a lower lower oh, arm wow. or fingers. Yeah, you can like destroy layers of the face and stuff. It's really, really boring. It's realistic. Oh, didn't they have a uh, Didn't they have a, have a name for the tech? Yeah, it's called Cool Engine. Right. I probably won't show off the second game too much, but we're definitely going to show off the third game because it's a piece of crap. It's a third game. Payback. When did that come out? Oh, that uh, a few years ago. It was a uh, budget title from that edition. Budget title sold at full price, fuckers. <laughs> was it also by Raven? Nope. No. Was it by Rebellion? It was by some Eastern European developer or something. Oh, so it's like one of those uh, city interactive games. Values up games, kind of. It is really, really awful. So here I'm trying to throw a grenade into the sniper nests, but that's not working. <laughs> but I killed that guy, so that works for me. It, that's what counts. It's still pretty cool. I don't remember having uh, a lot of old games having stuff like that. Like what? Like they fall through a barrier? Yeah, and they kind of have a falling-ish animation instead of just, you know, straight down falling. I know uh, No One Lives Forever was one of the first games that used that kind of animation too. Like uh, a more cinematic thing, like it, if you shoot them close to the stairs, they will do a tumble down the stairs. Huh. Oh, that's really Cause neat. I, yeah, because like in Return to Chaos Wolfenstein, if you shoot someone by stairs, they just slide down them. <laughs> yeah. That looks really weird. Well, this game also had like... We have 200 frames of animation for, for each death. <laughs> well, okay then. It's Bryce! And it's a black guy. Michael Clark Duncan. Well, the good news is I unlocked the main hangar door. The bad news is I've triggered every alarm in the base. Well, he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Look at the moving. <laughs> His lips and the sunglasses, they're like... Quick two textures. Them wheels. <laughs> they're like not even circles. Good luck. Thanks. His gun is literally a rectangle. Come on. Though to me, anyway, Quick 2 engine games have this kind of... This feeling that's like it's old, but it's got some new ideas in it, so they don't bug me as much as, say, most Quake One games, if there are any besides Quake One. Something else used it, right? <laughs> There's gotta be used Quake besides one. Quake One. Uh, I can't think of any. Retail games that also used Quake well, 1? Half-Life uh, Gold Source is based on Quake 1 and some of Quake 2, I believe. Yeah, it's totally but, different. Like, you, Whoa. You can't really tell, that's the thing. Like, this one is very obviously a Quake 2 game. Yeah. I mean, they reuse the buttons, for God's sake. Well, don't you usually use the same buttons? I guess. Uh, I'm not a game developer or anything. That. Oh, you mean the button textures? Yeah. Well, maybe they were in a library. A button library? Well, they did change them. They're, they're blue. They're blue colored now instead of orange. So that's one thing in Raven's favor. Well, too bad the game is still really orange, like Quake Two. At least this area is. So, do the en enemies become more accurate in later levels? Because none of them have been hitting you. Almost. Oh, if you leave, the target is 
missing. The B target is not here. Hold on. I think they will. There's not sure actually. How long were you down there? Long enough. That C4 was in the air. Hovering. 